What is up, bros and brats? I'm Ing Slasher, and welcome to the series where we discuss the best weapon in every single class in Black Ops 3. So far, we've looked at SMGs, assault rifles, and shotguns, and I asked you guys last time which weapon you wanted to see next. I pulled you guys, and the results are in snipers, 54%, pistols, 28%, and LMGs, 18%. So obviously, today we're going to be looking at snipers, if you couldn't figure that out by the title. But I want you to let me know down in the comment section below what you want to see next whether you want to see pistols or LMGs let me know down in the comment section below those are the two classes we have left and uh, whichever one gets the most votes that is what I will be doing next time so all you got to do is write which one you want to see next down in the comment section below so as far as sniper rifles go, I think they are the hardest class to whittle down and decide which one is the best. Why? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm not the greatest sniper in the world, but I can manage like a positive kill death and I have a pretty good knowledge of Call of Duty statistics and how the game just works in general. That is why I'm making this video today. However, with me not being the greatest sniper, when looking at snipers, so much of sniper rifles comes down to personal preference. How that gun feels to you, how it handles in your hands, and how well you can do with it. Because, well, there's only so much stats can do for a sniper rifle because most of the time they're going to be a one bullet kill so time to kill is kind of null and void if you're getting that one bullet kill every time the whole reload speed and also on top of that uh, RPM a fire rate is kind of null and void as well because if you're getting that one bullet kill every time the rate of fire can only do so much for you it's only going to do something for you if you miss that first shot so stats can only do so much for sniper rifles so this one is going to really come down to personal preference but i'm going to try to put my opinion aside look at the stats alone and determine what the best sniper rifle is but if you disagree with me that is perfectly legitimate and you can let me know down in the comment section below because like i said when it comes to sniper rifles very heavily based on personal opinion but try to just say avoid saying something like you're dumb this is the better sniper rifle tell me why i want to know why you think that's the better sniper sniper rifle but let's get into it start looking at these stats the first one we are going to look at and one a lot of people say is the best in the game we're going to start by looking at the draken why are we looking at this weapon first well it's the only spammy semi-automatic sniper in the game so i figured we'd get that one out of the way right away so with this weapon you're dealing 80 damage per bullet plus headshot multipliers this weapon is always going to be a two bullet kill unless you get a headshot then it's going to be a one bullet kill that is kind of what you should expect out of a semi-automatic uh, sniper rifle with this weapon you are looking at a 240 rpm fire rate this is not good and i will tell you why with this weapon, there is absolutely no aim assist. What aim assist is, is it helps you lock onto targets. I guess I shouldn't say no aim assist. What I actually mean is there's so little aim assist, you can barely feel it. It barely does anything for you, and compared to assault rifles, SMGs, and LMGs, it's next to nothing. So, knowing this... What we can decide by this is we can look at another weapon in the game that's already always going to be a two bullet kill. A weapon like the MX Grand or the Shiva, both of which are almost always a two bullet kill unless you're at massively long range or getting some bullet penetration kills, which will change for the Draken too. So almost always a two bullet kill. They both have a higher fire rate. The Shiva at 257 RPM and the MX Grand at 315 RPM. But both of those weapons have aim assist, which is going to help you aim. If you don't believe me about this fact, try using the Draken with the ELO, and then try using the Shiva with the ELO. You will immediately notice that aim assist. Immediately. And because of that factor, it's just more beneficial for you to use the Shiva or the MX Grand than the Draken making the Draken as a weapon null and void because if you're going to be using a sniper rifle you might as well use one that has a faster time to kill something like the Locust or the SVG that's going to be a one bullet kill whereas this weapon is going to be a two bullet kill the same as the Shiva same as the MX Grand both of which are going to have a faster time to kill because both of which have not only aim assist but a faster fire rate so the Draken's out of this one I understand why people like it it is probably the easiest to use because you can spam it however with no aim assist a slow fire rate and almost never being a one bullet kill unless you hit someone in the head, it just doesn't come in at the best sniper in the game. So next we're going to be talking about the DLC weapon, the RSA Interdiction. And this is a really interesting one because numbers-wise, stats-wise, by far the worst sniper rifle. However, 
For me, it is literally my favorite sniper rifle in the game. And before you come out with your torches and pitchforks in the comments, let me explain myself, because there is a reason for this. Like I said earlier, I am not the best sniper out there. And with this weapon, it is the lowest damage in class. It has 75 uh, damage per bullet. However, if we look at the multipliers, this weapon is going to be a one-hit kill from the nipples and up. Yes, from the nipples and up. So aim boobies are higher and you're solid. However, this is the only sniper rifle with aim assist. The only one. I know some people say the P06 has aim assist. Technically, numbers-wise, it does. But really, give it a shot. It doesn't do anything to help you out. However, the interdiction, 100%, the aim assist helps you out. Definitely, for sure. And to me, this is the way a Call of Duty sniper rifle should feel. It should feel like it's helping you out a little bit, but it's not an overpowered amount of aim assist. It feels good, and it reminds me of the old snipers from Call of Duty games, whether that be Black Ops 2 or even Advanced Warfare. It even reminds me of the Moors a little bit from Advanced Warfare. So, this weapon feels in my hands like a Call of Duty sniper rifle should, even though I get a lot of hit markers with it. You gotta aim boobies or higher, and if you get used to doing that, you can actually perform pretty well with this weapon and get a good amount of one-hit kills. However, since most of the time you are not going to be getting one-hit kills if you hit lower than the boobies, this means it must have a really good fire rate. Right? Wrong. The fire rate on this weapon is 50 RPM, which is 7 slower than the Locust and 8 faster than the SVG. And for a weapon that's not always going to be a one-hit kill, this one just has to be off the table because it's just not consistent enough to perform as the top tier sniper rifle in the game. So now we've got the Draken off the table and the RSA interdiction on the table. That leaves us with three. So from here, we're going to be looking at all three sniper rifles all at once. So brace yourselves. A lot of numbers are coming. So starting off with the P06, I want to change the way you look at the P06 so you can totally understand why I'm saying what I'm saying here. With the P06, it's technically a burst action sniper rifle. However, for this video, it is not a burst action sniper rifle. Why? Because every time you pull that trigger, you are aiming at one person and one person alone. The burst delay on this weapon is 700 milliseconds. That is a huge amount of time, almost a full second in between trigger pulls. What this means is I want you to look at the P06 not as a burst action sniper, as a sniper that is a one bullet kill anywhere on the body because these bullets come out of the weapon so fast that they're so tightly grouped together that you're almost always going to get a one bullet kill or a one trigger pull kill as we should probably look at it. So what to note with this one, anywhere on the body, going to be a one hit kill because you're almost always going to hit all three bullets. Just like other sniper rifles like the SVG, which is always pretty much a one bullet kill, unless you shoot someone like in the big toe, that's like the only scenario where you're not going to get a one bullet kill. So, change the way you look at the P06, it's a sniper rifle that shoots one bullet that's almost always going to be one kill. Why? There's no reason to look at it as a burst action weapon. There's a delay, just like any other bolt action sniper rifle, between trigger pulls. Speaking of the delay between trigger pulls... Like I said, the P06 has a delay of 700 milliseconds, so what's the delay for the other sniper rifles? So like I said, 700 milliseconds for the P06. For the Locust, 105 milliseconds. So 600 milliseconds faster. For the SVG, which has basically the same damage profile as a P06, because remember, we're looking at it as a single bullet, not as three separate bullets. There's no reason to look at it as three separate bullets. The amount of time difference between that... 143 milliseconds between bullets for the SVG and 700 for the P06. So 550 milliseconds, more than half a second difference between the two weapons. So obviously, because of this, we can't, simply can't consider the P06 to be the best sniper rifle in the game. It takes too long to go from trigger pull to trigger pull. So the amount of time, the smallest amount of time you can go from killing one person to another person is 700 milliseconds with the P06, whereas the Locust is 105 milliseconds and with the SVG is 143 milliseconds. So just a massive difference. So now we've got the Draken off the table, RSA interdiction, and finally the P06. And then there were two.
So we're down to two sniper rifles. We've got the Locust. We've got the SVG. Uh, when you're seeing the SVG gameplay here, um, just know that I'm playing against bots. Yes, I know I'm playing against bots. It's because I don't, don't have that weapon unlocked in multiplayer right now. I'm only like level 20-something. You need to be much higher than that to have the SVG unlocked. And I forgot to unlock it with a prestige token. So, unfortunately, all we got is bot gameplay for that. For, for the rest of the gameplay you're seeing here, it's all going to be multiplayer gameplay. But, anyway, looking at these two weapons, this is where you can very clearly see how these two sniper rifles really come down to personal preference because with the locust you're looking at a one bullet kill from the belly button and up so as long as you're aiming mid torso and up you'll be okay getting those one bullet kills whereas the svg is almost always going to be a one bullet kill the only exceptions are if you aim for like fingertips or big toes that's the only time you're really not going to be getting those one bullet kills so pretty much always always going to be a one bullet kill with the svg so that's the one of the main differences also the fire rate so the amount of time in between bullets is 105 milliseconds for the locust and 143 milliseconds for the svg so obviously not a huge difference there as we move on and look at the other stats as well again not a huge massive difference really for anything so for the locust we got 10 bullets in a magazine six for the svg if you look at aim down sights time again very very similar we got 0.34 seconds for the locust and 0.4 seconds for the svg so 0.06 seconds so what we can take away from this with the locust you are going to have to reload less and you can aim down sights faster with the svg mostly always going to be a one bullet kill and you have a bit slower of a aim down sights time so to take away from this you're a quick scoper and like getting those super fast on headshot kind of fast kills the locust is probably for you if you need to have that one bullet kill the svg is for you but what one is better well like I said, this is incredibly based on personal preference, but it's not like I'm going to not give you the best sniper rifle in the game. This is based on my opinion, so if you hate me for it, well, you hate me for it, but I think the SVG is the best sniper rifle in the game. Why? It is almost always going to be a one bullet kill, and there is only a 40 millisecond difference in the fire rate between the Locust and the SVG. Can you feel it? Yes, you can feel the fire rate difference. However, I don't think that's a big enough difference to simply get more hit markers with the Locust than the SVG. I feel like if just waiting that 40 milliseconds means I'm always going to get a one bullet kill, that simply makes the SVG a better weapon. The other stats are just too similar, and that one is too important to me. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What is your favorite sniper rifle in the game, and do you want to see the LMGs or the pistols next time on this series? So if you made it this far in the video, it would be absolutely fantastic if you could leave me a like rating. Uh, it really, really does help out the channel, and I'll love you for it. Let's see how many likes we can get on this thing. If you're new to the channel, it would be absolutely fantastic if you could hit that subscribe button i upload new call of duty videos every single day of the week and if that's something that sounds appetizing to you a little bit appealing maybe a little bit sexual that red button down below is one of a kind and it's just for you so check that out and my twitch twitter down in the description thank you so much for watching guys i love every single one of you and until next time peace out